Oh, you got something to say, little sparrow? Welcome to the eagle's nest. Hey guys, what's going on? We are back out for another day at the Eagle's Nest, whatever, whatever we want to call her. Um, it has been raining the past three days. Everything is sopping wet. It just stopped actually this morning. Um, yeah, so this should be interesting, frolicking, climbing wet, soggy trees and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just wing it. Brought some breakfast along. Um, I'm going to whip up a fire real quick, get some coffee going. Um, should be a good day. It's early enough. We ain't really got too much of a deadline today. So, uh, yeah. Coffee, breakfast, and whittling sticks. Even though it rained forever, we still got some dead, dry branches all over the place. I do have some fat wood. So, shouldn't be too hard of a time getting something going here we'll just post up in front of the lean-to get the fire going while the fire is starting to take off I'm gonna start cleaning up this train wreck at least a little bit get all this I don't know it's just a big old eyesore out here isn't it <laughs> I think I was the same bird as last time and we're working on the fort. Start to sprinkle. See what happens. Well, everything under the lean-to stayed completely dry. Everything's dry under here. I did find this. I noticed it before. But I thought it was empty. Found a full brewski. Not gonna enjoy that today. But, well, not this moment. <laughs> we'll see. Still a little early. Birds are still crowing. Break down some fat wood, log cabinet as usual. Maybe feather stick one or something like that. Ferro rod her up. Get the party started. Coffee, and then get to cracking. It's right. See how many shavings we can get not to land on top. <laughs> I get asked by a local guy, like, um, one sec. He's like, you know you can already do it like that. Why don't you just use a lighter all the time? I was like, I don't know. So, that is good. a good question. Why don't you just use a lighter? <laughs> yeah, whatever. It is what it is. We got our tripod from the old Ford. Yeah. See what we can do is start catching this thing on fire as well. <laughs> Just get high. Ha, ha, ha. Something like that, maybe. We'll try that. <laughs> the dirt down here. All right, we're gonna start cracking on this fort now. 
what I am gonna do, let me tilt you up a little bit. See how we got one run on the bottom, one on top. We're gonna do one in the middle, so that way we can weave uh, branches in and out of there. Um, cordage, uh, somebody mentioned bank line, but the closest, um, without ordering it or anything, I found some like household twine. It's kind of like bank line, which uh, I appreciate that because uh, it is a lot cheaper than paracord. Uh, probably gonna be easier to work with on these uh, smaller twigs and stuff, so. Yeah, that's just like some out it says outdoor uh i don't know why it says household twine outdoors but uh household crafts and in, in the garden so should be all right we'll see uh just to hold up the sides and just wing it whatever we come up with i got some different stuff as well um outdoor white a little bit thicker I mean, you got 230 feet for like two bucks, and then I got uh, 150 feet of this crap for like a dollar 25. And then both of these together would have cost like 50 feet of paracord. So, yeah, but you pay for what you get. So we'll see. like that maybe I don't have to put one in the middle let's tie each one I don't know just wing it oh, all right let's check this coffee shall we see steam pumping out the top so we should be all right oh about lost it oh it's hot oh it's hot oh yeah she's nice and hot we got some just two instant packets nothing too fancy Creamer and sugar. Yeehaw. Ooh wee. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna take this to pound town. I am gonna do up some breakfast, but I'm not gonna film that all too much because I know you guys wanna see me start cracking on this. Um, I'm gonna whip up some breakfast, throw it on here. It's just like some sausage, potatoes, onion, and eggs. Um, throw that on here, and then we'll start cracking on them sidewalls. Sound good? Great. Glad we can all come together to an agreement. Yeah. Let's try to keep our taste buds, buddy. All right, one thing I do got to show you, though. Remember how I couldn't find my copper pan? So I found a different pan, and I just snapped the damn... <laughs> I just snapped the handle off and it fit my pack easier and I could just use a pair of pliers to take it out. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Just a piece of crap everywhere. It'd be nice to find a... I guess it's just nice because it's non-stick. Supposedly. But I guarantee I get something to stick to it. Watch. Fire. Side up. Really, just throw it over the top. See what happens. You're gonna break a lot. We'll crack it on the tree. Ah. 
How dig it a dog. A little hot sauce. Yeehaw, boys. Oh. All right. And I wasn't going to show you too much of the cooking stuff, but whatever. I'm going to smash this. Jeez Louise, man. Can you hit the hole? We know you got kids, man. Huh? Just kidding. These are just jokes. Settle down. Jeez. I'm unsubscribing. I'm just kidding. Settle down. <laughs> all right. All right, I'm going to smash. Treehouse, all right? Jeez, sorry. It's all good. <clears throat> what everybody says about everything they cook even though it tastes like curse words all right finally get up in here <laughs> yeah hum ding hum ding <clears throat> I threw my string up here that there, and my saw, and I reckon, we're just going to start, right here's a corner, we'll work our way that way, I'm actually going to let these run a little high, wild, like we'll go, I don't know, doesn't matter. I'm going wild, whatever. Doesn't matter the direct or exact dimensions. <laughs> this is where. Uh, Kill saw would come in handy though. Just put them all up and they just chainsaw something. Yeah. All right, one down. It's not crazy tight, but it's held down pretty good. I tell you what, I hate this cordage. This stuff sucks. It doesn't want to grip onto itself too well, so you have to get kind of fancy with your knots. Um, but I guess we'll just wing it. Chop away, chop away. See how far we can get today. The goal was to get at least almost all the sides up and maybe the roof framed. But I don't know. Coming out here tinkering around doing breakfast and all that stuff, I mean, that took, doesn't seem like much, but it took about an hour and a half away from the day doing that. So. Quit whining and get it done. <laughs> all right, geez. Chop it at. Oh, oh my gosh. You guys slipped through the cracks. But you're okay? Are you okay, baby? <laughs> Gotta be careful. Watch your step. There we go. I think that's gonna be my fastest line of production. Just and maybe get rid of this ugly end here. Put them up, cut up a bunch. And then maybe try to line them up and uh, wrap the tops as I go. I don't know, something. I don't know. Something! We'll figure it out! <laughs> the tedious knot tying thing, each one. Oh man. It's just. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we should get rid of. Yeah, maybe we'll make it work. It's not gonna be perfectly airtight. I ain't worried about it being airtight. But. 
We're up in the trees. It don't matter. Plus, summer's around the corner. We're gonna want all that breeze. Maybe. <laughs> Find out, won't we? We sell saw until we look like Tim McGraw. <laughs> Almost got this batch whipped out. Got one more stick up here. We're gonna throw these and then uh, keep hooking them up here. Actually, I don't know why I'm throwing them on this side when this is the side I throw from. Come on! I should probably start from a different side. Yeah, it'll be all right, whatever. Throw it over, throw harder, faster, stronger. Burn up your arm. Good thing I'm not a Trying to be in the MLB. I was doing pretty good keeping it one at a time. I've only done the top so far and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do on the bottom. That's the fastest way I could do it. Oh no, we're getting to the end. About time. Man. Doesn't want to stay on there. Oh joy! Ah, we whining. It's tedious, tedious, tedious. All right, keep on winging it. I haven't been doing it too fancy. I've been just going up and around. Whatever I can make really work. I mean, it's holding on pretty good. I mean, that's great. I don't know how. I'm gonna be able to fish the bottom through or what. We'll see. I might just end up putting a log on the bottom. Tying that to like the corner of the tree to the tree to hold those back. Hey, that's an idea. There we go. We might have to do something like that. We'll see. I don't know. Oh, it's already falling off. Son of a biscuit eater. Falling off my roll I just did. Shame on you. Yeah, I'm not getting too crazy. Nothing too fancy. Just trying to go at least two passes on the top. Where I can get it. And around. Up and over the top of the support log two times just to make sure this doesn't come too loose. Dang, look at my line. What the boat? Scared me. Thought I was going down. Yeehaw. <laughs> so freaking close to getting one side done. I think it's going to be two days of this. That's for sure, but I'll I'll make it all into one video for you guys. I'll save you the... Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, we got one more log to fasten. I was thinking too, this thing's only going to be as strong as <laughs> that there. But on that bottom brace, we have a kicker. Or what, I'm going to run a kicker on the back side of this. And then the same thing on that one. You know, it's not gonna hurt to be extra cautious up here. Oh, now you wanna worry about safety? <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right. Once again, I don't know why this stuck. Round two. Look at this mess we gotta climb up on. What a mess. <coughs> oh no. Uh-uh. We ain't back flipping now, boy. Uh-uh. Ain't gonna do it. Ugh. That was dangerous. Ugh. Everything's all freaking soft. Smushy mushy.
No backflips. No backflips. Not on this. Owie. Ah. Stab me in the chest, Sparta. Ugh. Back to chop, chop, chop. Doozy. That long enough? Not really, but we're going to use it anyway. <laughs> Chopped up, locked and ready to load. I hate that cord. Well, one down, about a million to go. Oh boy. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Almost already out of the second load. Tedious, tedious, tedious. Stick, wrap, stick, wrap, stick, wrap. Sorry, not too shabby though. I think I'm gonna start cracking on this side. Cause here, I'm gonna put like a little door or something here. I just gotta figure that out exactly. I don't know. Cause I'm telling you, a zip line's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So yeah. And we'll wing the roof. I don't know. Stay tuned and see, see what happens. I don't, I don't even know what's going to happen. <laughs> there ain't no plans around here. You got a blueprint? I ain't got one. Well, this kind of sucks. I think you can see that clearing. That's a field for them just to stare, peer right at me. They run across that field and stuff. You see a little outing building over there and everything. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll throw some branches up in the air over there. Get them stuck so they can't see over here. I don't know. Alright, we got another mess of wood. I'm really put a, putting a dent on the stuff that's on the ground, so... That's a good thing. So the majority of it is pretty much up here. We got some on the side of the lean too. Down there. Those are all thicker. I don't know. We're going to play that by ear. So we'll see. We're going to chop all this up. Play chopping. I got a little bit of more free time. Um, not much. Uh, so we'll probably get this chopped up and have this ready to bang out tomorrow. So that's the game plan. Saw, saw, saw. See you tomorrow, ma, ma. <laughs> Alright. Last one of the day. Yay. Come on. You get old chopping. Ouch. Alright. My arms are on fire. Alright, that's it for the day. No more breakfast. Nothing to take away. If we didn't do breakfast, we would have been pretty much probably to wipe this out, but. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna load up my crap, get out of here, and we'll back it, be back in the morning first thing. Wayne Dane Chicken Wayne. Well, guys, it's morning. It was supposed to be a nice, warm, sunny day, but uh, Maury determined that was a lie. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, get cracking on our sides. We're about to have football practice over here. I want that big old patch. They can see it right over here. So we're probably definitely gonna get spotted and that's really gonna compromise this location. Um, more than likely. So, uh, see how long this area stands. Uh, anyway, let's get up there and get the cracking. No breakfast, none of that stuff today. 
just winging away. Yeah, wing and play. All right, I brought a little different tripod along so I can anchor you guys to trees and make a little bit better uh, angles and not have to worry about knocking you over up here. Yeah, yeah, you comfy up there, nice and cozy. Talking to a damn robot, buddy. What are you, what are you doing? All right. Well, we're going to continue to cracking, cracking. And before you know it, you guys are going to hear them guys over there. Blue 42! <laughs> oh, God. They're going to be like, what the hell? That's not the play we called. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. Crack away. Well, we are coming down to the slim pickings of our wood. I'm having to get fancy, chop stuff up. I've been doing it down here. So anything booby hat is where we're gonna cut. We're just gonna go around and start cutting everything booby height and start chucking it up there. We start cracking out that first or that big wall too. Uh, we're almost done with that other little wall. Got an idea for a door. I'm gonna use the old door from the shelter up there as well. I don't know if it's gonna pivot yet or how I'm gonna do it or uh, we're just winging it. But, see what happens there. As always, we'll see what happens. Seven thousand cuts later. we get everything attached to this side, it'll help stiffen up this wall. Yeah! Alright, so I guess that's what we're doing now. I'm gonna hunker down this side. The top I can't reach right now. T-Rex arms and all. So I'm gonna get this side bent down and then uh, on the bottom I'm gonna toenail Try to tone out with these crappy nails. See what happens. They'll hold it in place a little better. <clears throat> coming along, coming along. Moving right along. Right along.
go around the outside a couple more times to keep what I just did all tight ah, so it doesn't break loose on me before I try to tie my final knot. Just as humbling to work with as the other stuff. What a mess. What a freaking mess. Awesome. Just what I love. A mess. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Come on. What a ball of joy this is to work with. <laughs> My gosh. I'm going to try to pull it off and do it again. Roll it up myself, but uh, I don't know. I'm not looking too promising here. Is there an end in sight? It's getting smaller. Meanwhile, that's what I'm going through. Hope you guys are having a peachy day. All right. Yay. Well, the bad news is I dropped my roll down there. But the good news is She's coming along, buddy. Yeah. I still want to add a couple over here. Figure something out. But, last little section. Let's wreck it. Well, guys. Hot diggity dog. That's what I'm talking about. Got all her sides up. Thank gosh. Man. Oh, now I'm all tangled up in some cordage. Fantastic. Gonna toenail these the doorway. And then wing it. I'd like to figure out what we're gonna do for the frame of this roof. I think I'm gonna have to go to this tree here. Barrel and over. I don't know. I didn't really want to do a flat roof. Kinda of wanted to put the pitch to it. But in order for me to do that, I think it would have to go from the center of here over to this tree. I don't know if that's going to work. I might just toss this up and tack this down, get the door up here. I'm going to have to make another little door for this. Something fancy. But coming along a lot of time the floor I'm either gonna roll a log against the bottom or I kind of want to uh, I was debating on putting some plastic down and then bringing some dirt up here but with the walls not being airtight or sealed or anything and if it does rain it's just gonna become a muddy mess up here so, I don't know. We're just waiting. We'll see what happens. Play it by ear. Toenail. We can stick we can. Tie it off. I don't know if you can really hear them now. Alright, that one will be good over here. Whoa. I don't even know exactly what the heck we're gonna do for a roof. But apparently, I'm gonna have it a, a slight of a slant. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. A little bit of a slant. And then uh, I think what I will do, I'll just take a big old tarp, cut it and make sure the sides can roll, come down. I'll be able to roll up the sides and like clamp it or something. Maybe. I don't have a lot of moss or anything like everybody else does in their neck of the woods. I got mud. Rain hits that. My toast. Mix some mud and grass, but then again, it's still just, it's not going to be waterproof unless I tarp it. I guess it ain't too big of a deal. We're just winging it, having fun. Fun and winging. tie this down because I don't even know completely if I'm married to this idea yet um, we've got one more to throw on this side and then we'll see call that that for now get some ideas brewing figure out what we're gonna do next for the roof I mean, sleeping quarters I ain't too worried tree to tree hammock yeehaw TV in the corner recliner over here maybe Perfect. So we're talking about peachy. Peachy. I don't know why I always just started saying that now. Oh, it's peachy. <laughs> Whatever. I know we're definitely going to have to add maybe three or four more because that's quite a big span. If we're in here with a bunch of rain and a tarp, it's just going to fill up and want to fall in on us. So, But it's coming along. Maybe another little branch from there to there and over actually yeah that's what I was gonna do I got one right here for that actually and to finish that side off but heck yeah finally made some progress need to get that door up here though don't know exactly what the heck I'm gonna do with that I'll probably bring it up here and then uh Pack up camp, get ready to go for the day. Well guys, it's time to skedaddle. This bad boy's coming along. Not too shabby for just winging it. Just hit Walmart, grab some twine, and let's go to the woods and wine. Let's put the twine. <laughs> oh, frustrating things, but that's just part of life. Here's what it is. We're making progress. Don't know what I'm gonna do for the floor. To maybe smooth it out or just leave it I don't know we'll see what happens uh, I really don't have too many materials to go like with a natural roof or even like I don't have clay or a lot of moss um, I don't know we'll just wait see what happens but uh time to skedaddle all righty guys well that's it for this episode of what the hell did I just watch <laughs> Ah, it is what it is. Wing dang chicken wing. Thanks for putting out my goofy shenanigans. Um, you guys got any ideas or something? Hey, look. What are the odds? Another golf ball. We'll, we'll save that for later. Uh, got any ideas what we could do to patch something together for a floor or maybe even a natural roof instead of just tarping it? Or maybe I'm overthinking it and should just tarp it? I don't know, tie back the last shelter, so. I don't know. Anyway. 
don't know what else to say. <laughs> Make every day great exploring Earth. Catch you guys on the next one. See you soon.